I got six o'clock. Uh, if everybody will join with me on the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is uh, recommended that the agenda of February 10th, 2020, <coughs> regular meeting of the Board of School Trustees to be approved as present. Need a motion? Make that motion. Need a second? Second. All in favor? Oh, any opposed? Same sign. Carries 5-0. Approve the minutes. It is recommend, recommended that the minutes of January 13th, 2020 regular meeting of the board be approved as presented. Need a motion? Bar makes the motion. Second. I'll second. Melissa seconds. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5-0. Superintendent's report. All right. We have kindergarten roundup just around the corner. That's going to be April the 8th for Luce Elementary from eight o'clock to three o'clock. And then at Rockport Elementary, it's gonna be April the 9th. And again, from eight o'clock to three o'clock. Uh, we had the flu hit us and a few other things. Uh, last week, we were out of school on Thursday and Friday. Attendance is back up across the board. Um, Rockport Elementary today was 95%. Middle school was 92.88. High school was 95.9% today. Um, and Loose Elementary last Wednesday was 73% and it was up to 88%. So headed in the right direction on that. Kudos to the wrestlers. We have two wrestlers moving on to semi-state and that will be Brendan Moore and also Will Stewart. Also kudos to the Lady Rebel swimmers, uh, Reagan Beard, Allie Rutherford, Jenna Lauer, Justin Colley uh, broke the school record in a 200 medley relay at sectionals on Saturday. Also kudos, Allie Rutherford is gonna advance to the state meet on uh, this Friday up in Indianapolis. And at this time, good news, we have Mr. Logan Springston and Steve Lindauer, and they're gonna present to a grant to Luce Elementary. program at Luce started um, was started by a few hardworking ladies and since then our food pantry has expanded quite a bit. We are going to be able to expand again because um, the Luce Elementary Food Pantry received a $5,000 grant from Pioneer Hybrid of Portiva through Lindauer Farms and um, Mr. Steve Lindauer and Mr. Logan Springston are here to represent those organizations. These funds are going to be used to be able to buy a refrigerator so we can provide our families with dairy products. We've been doing just shelf-stable food. We're also going to be able to um, have a garden in our nature center that's going to let our students be, kind of have a community service project, as well as Mr. Taylor's horticulture class is gonna come down and assist us. So our families also have pr fresh produce. Um, this was a great opportunity. We're very grateful and um, hope to see our food feature continue to expand. So. Thank you very much. Consent items. Approve the payroll claims and accounts payable claims numbered C-1-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
1733 through 1775, pages 9 through 15. Approved Treasurer's Financial Report, pages 16 through 28. Approve the following resignations, post and post the positions and grant permission to hire. <laughs> Elvis Lane, South Spencer High School girls tennis coach, affected immediately. Abby Sanders, South Spencer High School girls head track coach, affected immediately. John Edge, head football coach, affected immediately. John Edge, health and PE teacher, last day, March 20th, 2020. Cindy Harris, Rockport Multimedia Specialist, effective May 22nd, 2020. Approve the following retirements, pages 33 and 34. Karen Banks, Rockport Element, Rockport third grade teacher, effective May 22nd, 2020. Jan. Gross, Rockport, second grade teacher, effective May 22nd, 2020. Approve the following FMLA request, pages 35 through 43. Carol Huffnagel, March 6, 2020, to estimate, March 23rd, 2020. Approve the following out of state overnight trans transportation request, page 44, FFA to Louisville, Kentucky Farm Machinery Show, February 14, 2020. I need a motion to accept these consent items. Well, let's make some motion. Need a second. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5 0. Administrative recommendations. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the following new hires. Pending the clear background check, pages 45 through 54. Hillary Hutchison, loose, moved from 10 month to 12 month custodian. Christy Chapman, loose 10 month custodian. <coughs> I, Caleb Greg Grabmeyer, South Spencer Middle School, seventh grade girls volleyball coach. Katie Pounds, girls tennis coach. Ori Calhoun, girls tennis coach. Josh Bowles, South Spencer High School boys golf head coach. Sean Keister, South Spencer High School assistant baseball coach. Seton Embry, South Spencer High School volleyball volunteer baseball assistant. Mitch Rust, South Spencer High School volunteer baseball assistant. Caitlin Wade, South Spencer High School volunteer softball assistant. Felicia Siler, South Spencer High School volunteer softball assistant. I need a motion. Derek makes the motion. Kevin seconds. Everybody in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5-0.
new business of the board. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the 2020 Rockport Elementary copy maintenance agreement with Hoosier Business Machines Incorporated from January 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2020 as presented. Need a motion? Barb made the motion. I need a second. I'll second. Melissa? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the resolution as presented to transfer <laughs> amounts from the education fund to the operations fund on the monthly reoccurring base not to exceed $95,000 for the period of January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. I need a motion. I'll make that motion. Kevin makes the motion. I need a second. Derek seconds. All in favor? Any opposed? Carries 5 0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the lease of land with Perry Spencer Communications as presented. Need a motion? A motion. Melissa makes a motion. Need a second? second. Derek seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the contract with Otis Elevator Company. Need a motion? A motion. Melissa. Melissa. Made a motion. Derek second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5-0. <coughs> Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve to declare the attached list of outstanding checks void and canceled. I need a motion. Melissa motion. Need a second. A second. Kevin second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Old business of the board. Upon the recommendation of the South Spencer County School Corporation School Board of trustees approve the hire of outside legal counsel for the purpose one terminating non-renewal and two re renegotiate the contract with dr rutherford i need a motion george i'll make i'll make a motion uh, since i was the board president at that time I will make a motion that we approve the use, since it's already happened, of the outside legal counsel as recommended by Brian Rudisel. Uh, that was for the purpose and was opened as a contract consultation and renegotiation of the contract with Dr. Rutherford. I have a question about that. That's in the comments. If you would, wait just a little bit. I need a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion passes 4-1. Information items, technology reports, 80 to 82 pages, 
maintenance report, pages 83 to 90. Transportation report, pages 91 to 127. New volunteer report, pages 128. Statement of the public. If you would, come up here. Chris Sitzman. My father uh, was a previous teacher here and there's a lot of fine decent folks that uh, are part of this organization. Um, there's paper that's been passed around by a bunch of folks and uh, you can pick it up at the school board and it shows a lot of expenditures here. Um, some of which were not approved before they were done. Um, one of my questions was about the uh, consultation of all these attorney fees. Uh, we have a school board attorney who is more than capable of executing any contractual things without expenditures to another attorney. And if you look through this paper, how many hours are spent in consultation with the sole purpose of getting rid of Dr. Rutherford? There is over $7,917 wasted, not negotiating a new contract, but in trying to get rid of a man. Um, this isn't my opinion. You can go get this. They have it there at the office. It'll cost you less than a dollar. It tells you every time they went to see Mr. Rudisil. It also tells you, um, I believe Lisa Hansel is the other attorney. Uh, when they consulted her, it also tells you several times who it was that was consulting them. Um, I believe, um, I believe Derek went up there to consult them. And uh, I also believe that um, Mr. Collins went up there to consult them. And this was way long ago, um, at least in the you know, 2018 year. So that's a bill that's been outstanding for quite some time. And um, it's kind of disappointing how much money and not one child uh, was affected positively or negatively by the money that's wasted. And there's more money that we haven't seen yet that hasn't been approved, it's my understanding. So um, you might want to ask some questions to some of these gentlemen about why they were spending this money. I have a question. The last board meeting, I believe that uh, Mr. Allen um, stated that he knew nothing about this and you're stating that he did actually go to the attorney regarding termination? Well, I can tell you to read what That's I have read. That's in record. That's all I have to say about that. Statements concerning. Oh, you got people. Oh. You got more people standing up. All right. <coughs> Good evening. My name is uh, Amy Cox, and I teach at Luce Elementary. And I'm here tonight because I'm concerned about the health situation at Luce Elementary. We, as many other schools, have been hit with the recent flu epidemic. However, I believe that Luce has suffered more acutely from the illness. Back at the end of the first semester, as you heard tonight, one of our two custodians retired, but her retirement wouldn't take effect until all her vacation days ran out. So we were down a contingent or full complement of custodians by half. So a sub was hired. However, this person was only working during the day, which means the bathrooms, the halls, the classrooms were not being cleaned after 3 p.m. 
So there's a lot of staff and uh, students in the building well after that, including the preschool and after school. So our full-time custodian worked very hard. She began coming in at 4.30 in the morning to start to get to work on cleaning the rooms and the trash. One of the teachers in the building volunteered to come in at 6 a.m. to help her. Classroom teachers were emptying trash, regularly cleaning their desk and all other surfaces, keyboards, mice, stuff like that. Even the fifth grade students were cleaning the cafeteria tables. As of last Tuesday, February 4th, the nurse, five other staff members, and 51 students were absent due to flu or flu-like symptoms. On Wednesday, February 5th, we had no nurse, no custodian, and many staff still out, and 60 students were absent. So on Thursday, uh, when we were shut down and we all had to do the e-learning, right? And I do understand off the DOE's uh, website that in a corporation, one building can be shut down due to illness, that all four don't have to be, but I understand the reasons behind that. So on Thursday, after the custodian and the custodian sub cleaned half the building, a group of volunteers came in, including one of your school board members and our principal, and a group of other hardworking individuals came in and we cleaned the other half of the building. And then that Friday, the custodian and the sub-custodian came back to finish cleaning the floors and the bathrooms. So it was all good to go as of Friday. Well, then we're back at school today. And you have 230 some kids, minus those that are absent, and you have the preschool and you have stuff like that. So my concern is, I understand that we have hired a new, uh, new full-time custodian but there'll be some time before that individual can start to work due to background check and uh, other, she has other work things that she has to fulfill. So what are we gonna do? We're down a full-time custodian. We still have a lot of sick kids coming in and I, I'm worried about it and I just don't want it to see get any worse again because that was a lot of illness. We had flu A, we had flu B, we had strep. We had a lot of stuff going on. So I'm concerned. Custodians that come in, and again, that's where your teachers step up. She had mentioned, you had mentioned the principal stepping in, coming Absolutely. in early. Everybody worked together. In a time of crisis, you do have to, everybody yeah. stepped up. We appreciate everybody stepping up. But yeah, there are subs, and yes, as you saw on the agenda tonight, there is another custodian hire, so it'll be full staff as well. So, and they were actually given parameters as well to start the background check early, you know, as soon as they knew it was at. That way they could start as soon as this board meeting was over, so they could start tomorrow. So, yeah. There you go. Any more statements from the public? Any statements or concerns from the board? Hi, I'm Emma Carney, and I'm a part of our city council and choir. And I had a lot of students come up to me that were involved in choir, pet band, the dance, like a lot of the things that would play during halftime and during games that were very upset because we were not able to blend our schools together for the Heritage Hills. And I figured I would put it out there that our students were kind of upset because we thought it'd be really cool. More statements from the public. My name is Cindy Lawrence. Um, as always, I'm concerned about the reading and things like that. I've always talked about making sure the kids are tested. I would like to know how that's going. So maybe if I can see meet with me meet with yeah, you or just up. email me and say hey the kids are being tested because mm -hmm. if one out of five kids have a learning disability we need to see what we can do to get target on that mm -hmm. and then two i saw this too and i read through it only thing i can say is just from being at the last meeting i believe mr allen said that and nothing to, i'm not making any kind of disclaimer you had mentioned it, the only thing that you knew was about the Evergreen contract and the, 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 those things, that no. clause or whatever. No, that's not but I didn't hear anything bad. 
it's like I didn't hear anything bad about you. Actually, I can honestly commend you for what you've been doing for the swim team. My daughter's on the swim team. She loves it. You've been great as far as helping her and helping the other kids. I've seen it firsthand, and it's very much appreciated. But I think that, too, um, Luz has the food program. Amazing. And that is, like, totally phenomenal. But, you know, being me that I am, when's Rockport going to get some food programs going on? And what can we do to help these kids? Are we going? Okay, good. Are we doing okay with that? You need donations? I just want to make sure we're good. Yeah. <coughs> I'm always trying to see, you know. We, have, we will always take donations. What, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what do we need to help and get that going? Make right. sure we have what you need and yeah. reach out to the public so that. You, you can come by. We have a full food pantry. Oh, I believe you. I'm just making sure if you need anything, we figure out a way to get it for you. That's all. Kids make a choice. They can come in and pick two items. And okay. Then we also still get food from the Tri-State Food Bank. Because... I think everybody's great. I think Lori's wonderful, and she knows that. And everybody does a good job. Everybody's got their their hearts in the right place. We just want to take care of our kids. I want to make sure these kids could read. My daughter's going to graduate. She's had a hard time with her schooling, and she's going to graduate because these teachers have been awesome. They have honestly put up with me for 12 years and I can honestly tell you I have every email that I've ever emailed a teacher since kindergarten I thought about printing it out graduation <laughs> but I probably need three or four spirals and I appreciate it uh, there's numerous ones that I, they've always been good they've either stayed and tutored or some I've paid to tutor um, I can honestly say there's numerous ones in my opinion they walk on water and anybody that said they have any issues with their kids, go to this person. Well, I don't have them this year. Go to them anyway, because if they have, they're very partial and very good at that. So it's much appreciated. I'm also the type that holds with bated breath until we see the diploma in our hands. <laughs> Once the diploma is in our hands, I will do some more commenting about how great the school is. So it's much appreciated. So I thank you, and we just want to get kids to reading. So if they're not reading past elementary school, they're going to get to middle school. They're going to get to high school. They don't have time to be remediated because they got to do the homework. They can't. And you got to let them be a kid. You got to let them play basketball. You got to let them do this. You got to let them do that. Or they're going to hate you for all the extra stuff that you do. So it's just really important that they know how to read. And that's why I push that elementary school thing. And everybody knows that several of them here have had my kids. <laughs> I'm very appreciative. So thank you. George, can I just stand up and say one thing? Can I stand right here? No. Mm -hmm. I have to go up there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Front, state your name. Okay. I'll, Sorry, I'll just keep right here from here. I've got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're all talking about the food craft program, I'm going to do a commercial a little bit for <laughs> I published this. Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Kathy Treader, <clears throat> editor and publisher of the Spencer County Leader. And we have something else called SpencerCountyOnline.com. And the feature that's been on there this week is about Luce Elementary's food program and the chef and what she's doing. So read about it if you want to know more about that. I just, I'm going to put in a commercial for you real quick since we're not a food program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Any more statements from the public? <coughs> statements, concerns? of the board next meeting date the next regular meeting of the board will be Monday March 9th 2020 at 6 p.m. in the multi-purpose room at South Spencer High School I need a motion to adjourn all in favor any opposed? Carries 5-0. Tom? 6-30.